welcome to Shane Fix. As you can see, I have a Santa Fe locomotive torn apart because it is not working. Uh, my son got this as a gift from his grandfather. So I'm gonna take a look at it and see if I can figure out why it's not working. When I first opened it up, I saw what looked like a problem and it definitely was. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by this picture, but see how there's both positive and ground wires on the same terminal? <laughs> That's not gonna work. So obviously somebody tried to rewire this in the past. Uh, I imagine what happened is the motor actually died and they took it apart, tried to fix it, didn't work, and rewired it incorrectly. But even after repairing that and testing it real quick, it still didn't run, so I knew it was the motor. This is the rear train wheel set, and the motor that's having the problem is in this set. There is not a motor on the front. It was pretty simple to take apart. The first time I do these, I always take a cell phone photo so that I get all the gears in the right spot when I put it back together. Um, as far as the gears go, they all look good. And then there was just a couple screws that I had to remove to open it up to see the motor. All right, and here we have the motor. And I don't know if you can see here, the motor looks like it's in pretty good shape. If you've never worked with a DC motor, they're, they're pretty simple. There's not a lot to them. All right, and here you see part of the problem. So there's all that grime I was talking about. And what I'll do is I'll take some IPA, some 99% IPA, and I'll clean that off as best as I can. If you've never worked on any of these old trains or any old DC motors in general, what happens is they tend to get pretty dirty and they'll get all kinds of stuff built up on the commutator or the brushes. Uh, so that's usually the first thing I'll look for. And unless there's something wrong with the armature or the wirings or, or something like that, uh, it's usually the either a really dirty commutator or graphite brushes that have worn down uh, or some connection from between there and the track either in the wiring or, or wherever and you can see the magnets there it spins freely everything looks good these are little graphite brushes I wiped those down as well and even with these, there was quite a bit of sludge that came off onto the Q-tip. And these are the little springs that go between the hard connection and the graphite brushes, which then connect to the commutator. And of course, one of them popped out of my hand and fell on the carpet and it took me forever to find it. Um. This train was pretty old, so a lot of it was very dirty. I made sure to grease all the gears again. At this point, I resoldered all the wires together. Uh, I didn't show the process of doing that, and it only took a couple minutes because there was only a few wires I had to resolder. And here we are after I've resoldered it. And as you can see, we have power. It works. Uh, even the little light in the front works. Sometimes that is burned out or cracked or what have you. But now we have a working train. My son should be happy. He can play with it again. But there you go. Looks like I saved Christmas. Hopefully this helps someone else if you have an old DC powered train or even a new DC powered train. They're all basically the same. They're very simple circuits. There's nothing to them. And generally, if the motors are bad, it's going to be probably one of the issues that I talked about. Anyway, uh, look in the description. I'll, I'll post the tools that I used in this build. Uh, hopefully those will help you out and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and like and happy holidays merry new year all that good stuff and i'll see you guys next time ciao